and welcome to Great Day TV. We are hope you're having a pleasant and a safe holiday season. It's been very stressful over the past few months with COVID and all the things we've had to go through. And our friends at American Senior Community have been very, very helpful. What they've done is they've helped their clients, they've helped family and friends to deal with this really challenging time. So we're gonna take a look with our friends at American Senior Community and visit again with the Horses of Hope. Also, a lady who has a dog who's her best friend. And then the quest for excellence. What's that all about? It's all coming up on Great Day TV. And here we are, Great Day TV, and I want to share something with you. Recently, I had the honor of going downtown and participating in the quest for excellence. This is American senior communities rewarding their own, and something a little fun for me, too. Let's take a look. Everyone. Big night for American senior communities recently. The quest awards were on tap, and I was honored to be asked to attend. And here we are downtown in the fabulous Marriott. We're celebrating for a great cause today. It's Quest 21. This is for American senior communities and it's rewarding all the excellence that people do to help families and friends that you and I know. So let's bring in the big guy now. Here's David Storty, who is the CCO for American senior communities. And as we're setting up here for all these folks to come in, what is the Quest for Excellence? The Quest for Excellence is Quest for Excellence is our biggest night, single night of employee celebration wow. recognition. These employees that will be honored tonight exemplify exceptional performance, care and concern for the residents we're honored to serve above and beyond their job expectations. It's, they, tr it's truly amazing. And how many places do you have? We have um, 92 uh, communities that we're honored to serve throughout the state of Indiana. Mm -hmm. And what's really special about tonight is that the, the award recipients were selected by their peers in their communities. American Senior Communities is here to um, provide um, a wide variety of lifestyle options and care support for families and loved ones. Well, I gotta tell you, I've been with ASC now 22 years and this is my favorite night all year long because it's such a special night to recognize some really outstanding individuals. You're outstanding too, thank you. And we have more than just the spokesperson. He is the team leader here for American Senior Communities. Quinn Buckner, come on in, sir. How are okay. you tonight? How are you? I'm great, thank Good. you. I'm very glad to be here. Good. Tell me about Quest 21. What is your involvement? Why is it so important? Well, my involvement has been really a blessing, quite frankly. Um, having watched my mother kind of go through the transition, as, as it were, um, I saw how important senior care was. And ASC and I got a chance to have some conversations and to, to understand the work that is put in here when you have care companions and, and, and you have the residents that, that have their needs and, and have those needs met. It, it, this is, I guess as you get older, these things just become a lot more yeah. uh, to the forefront. And for me, it, it just touched me and um, the, the work that's done here is very important. Not only was I happy to attend this gala, but I also received an award, Advocate of the Year. And unbeknownst to me, American Senior Communities had a little fun with my pointing patty style. We just cannot complete a patty introduction without her signature. The patty pose. <laughs> right? right? Um, the patty pose with a gesture or a point. Pat is known with a very humble heart to always put the focus on others. But tonight, let's pause for a moment and put a little focus on Patty Spittler. So please welcome to the stage, ASC 2021 Advocate Care Winner, Patty Spittler. When you do what you love, it's not work. It's a privilege to help others. I get to help and I love volunteering for what I can do now. And dang it, I'm gonna keep pointing, so there. Uh, <laughs> thank you, thank you, enjoy. As a 
Secret Service agent, Mr. New, was assigned to protect former President Nixon. Thank you, Mr. New, for your courage and service. <laughs> Thank you, Catherine. Catherine has donated thousands of these stockings to our military men and women. Your donations continue to bring joy. Hi, I'm Quinn Buckner, a proud member of the American Senior Communities team. We are so honored to serve a generation that has really made a difference. Being a kid is tough. Being a kid in foster care can be even tougher. Volunteer advocates at Kids Voice of Indiana provide a stabilizing presence and speak up for a child's best interest in court. Find out how you can help at kidsvoicein.org. I'm Megan. As your certified audiologist, I'm here to help you. For 35 years, our mission is to improve your hearing by giving you the tools and technology you need to communicate clearly. For more info, head to whisperhearingcenters.com. Welcome to Warm Glow Candle Company. Dreams are realized at the 2021 Warm Glow Candle Company Christmas Open House this weekend. Jolly moments, wine tastings and coffee specials, secret Santa sales, limited edition candles, local crafts and artisans, and visits with Gingy the Gingerbread Cookie. That's Warm Glow Candle Company Open House in Centerville and at warmglow.com. We're conveniently located on Highway 70 at exit 145. Family owned and operated. Best seafood and service in town. Four convenient locations bringing the best of the sea to ND. Dine in or carry out. Plus, we can make any order just for you. Kaplinger's Fresh Cat Seafood Market. It's a great catch. The Skyline Club is open again for lunch and dinner, practicing social distancing and COVID-19 sanitation protocol. The chefs just rolled out a fabulous new menu. Rave reviews pouring in. Time to become a Skyline Club member. Great Day TV and a young lady recently got married and she went to see someone who was staying in American senior communities and made it a family affair. And here we are on this beautiful day at Zionsville Meadows, American Senior Communities, and we're here with the new Mrs. Emma Unger. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you so much. Just got married? Yes, oh. just got married about three weeks now. Oh so. my, how yeah. do you feel? It's, it's amazing. I really love being married, and I think it, this has just been a great, a great time to get married because it's been such a, not a dark time per se, but it's been, it's had its low moments, and I think to have something like this has just been really special for me and my husband. Mm -hmm. So, really. and you shared it with a part with your whole family, but one in particular at Zionsville Meadows, your great grandma. Yes. Tell me about that. So that was something where for for months we had actually come and see my nan after we gotten engaged, and a lot of people. My nana is 103, <gasps> so <laughs> not a lot of people have um, someone like in their lives that's that's lived that long. And, so yeah, we, we had this idea and was so thankful that it all worked out, but to come, um, it was two days before the wedding and I, I brought my dress and I got ready like I was going for the day and um, came and, and got to see her and, and surprised her with the dress. And she got to see you. Yes, and yes. And she really enjoyed that, didn't Oh, she? it was so special. Do you remember what you wore when you married your husband? I still got my dress. Do you? What does it mean for you? How would you tell people that are watching and say, you know, reach out to the folks who are in assisted living or maybe mm -hmm. in a, they, need, they need someone to wave at them through the window, if nothing yeah. else, or to yeah. go visit them social distancing like, yeah. like we are. What, what, what does that mean, mean to these folks? Yeah, yes. and thankfully the, the staff here is just incredible and they just bring so much joy to them and, um, and that's been something that we've been so thankful for. Um, but but to be able to come in and either way through the window or get to like play, I don't know, play a game with them through, through a space that's social distance. Mm -hmm. I, I just know that means so much to them and encourages them and um, so that's important to think about and, and to focus on. And it's important for you too. You're going to have a wonderful memory forever mm -hmm. and ever that yeah. you, did, you did the right thing Absolutely. and you made her happy. Yes. Yes. And that'll be with you forever. It means the world, yeah. Okay. I'm excited about well, it. Well, I'll give you a social distance high five. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Congratulations Thank you on so your much. wedding. Thank and you. There she is again, the new Mrs. Emma Unger. <laughs> Hi, 
Maria, what's up? Hi, I'm just calling to say hello. How are you? Great, it's so good to hear your voice. Staying connected has never been easier for people with hearing loss. Now you can read captions of everything your caller says with CapTel Caption Telephone. Did you hear that Ed finally proposed to Anna? People with hearing loss can enjoy the same ease, speed, and confidence as telephone callers everywhere. Learn more about this service at RelayIndiana.com. I'm Megan. As your certified audiologist, I'm here to help you. Struggling to follow conversation? If you have any of the symptoms of hearing loss, visit us at Whisper Hearing Centers. For more info, head to WhisperHearingCenters.com. Family owned and operated. Best seafood and service in town. Four convenient locations bringing the best of the sea to ND. Dine in or carry out. Plus, we can make any order just for you. Kaplinger's Fresh Cat Seafood Market. It's a great catch. You're not alone. Millions of Americans face mental illness every single day. NAMI improves lives with resources to provide hope, recovery, and wellness. So reach out to NAMI. You are not alone. Did you know that even a newborn baby can wear hearing aids? And with the help of cochlear implants, even deaf children can learn to talk. Here Indiana is the one-stop shop providing speech pathology. HearIndiana.org. I definitely earned my mom points this year thanks to Santa Claus Indiana. Staying next door to Holiday World meant we got to be there from open to close. But the fun didn't stop there. Santa Claus is just an adorable little town with festive stops all around. And you can even throw in a little history lesson on the very ground where Abe Lincoln grew up. This was our getaway worth sharing. Plan your Santa Claus getaway at visitindiana.com. And now we're going to take a look at a, a little dog who's helping her human be healthy and happy at American Senior Communities. Welcome to American Village Lincoln Lodge here. And we're with Sandy and Toby. And Toby <laughs> is a beautiful animal. First off, tell me about, oh, he, he heard his name. Yeah. Tell me about Toby. Toby is a rescue. A rescue. Um, I, I got him um, actually just because uh, I had to have my two little Border Terriers put down Aww. and I couldn't be more than a month without a dog. Right. You've had dogs all of your life and now you're, you're here at American Senior Communities with a dog and this was important for you because your, your husband has passed? Yes, my husband passed in uh, 2016. Okay. What would you say to somebody who's in your position uh, you know, older, mm -hmm. they maybe would like, but they want to keep their animal with them. You went through a lot to get to this position, too. You, you went to see friends and relatives, and they said, we think you need to check uh, yes. something else out. Tell us that story. Yes. Well, I had, uh, for the third time in a few months, I had been in the hospital and had to stay at my cousin's house for a week. You'd fall And right? each time, yes, I'd fallen, and then one time I just had a head thing. And uh, so after the third week, uh, she and my sister-in-law came over and, and said, you know, we think maybe you should go someplace where they can pick you up when you fall. And uh, of course, I haven't fallen since I've been here. You have not fallen. No. Did you hear that? You have not but, fallen. Uh, but I been couldn't there. even walk when I got here. Right. And wow. that was just last November. So <clears throat> all that uh, physical therapy and everything has really helped. So you do that? And, and so Toby I do that. Helps you with your and physical. Toby helps me w walk all the time. Right. right. So, yeah. Would you say he's saved your life? Absolutely. I mean, I really was down, really down after my husband passed away and I had to have my other dogs put down. And, uh, all right, all right. It's a good thing you have tiny hips. <laughs> yeah. He fits right in there. <laughs> this is where he always sits. Aww. If I'm sitting in a chair, he's Aww. sitting right here. He's wonderful. Um, but yes, I was, I was really down in the doldrums and, uh, and then when I started having all those medical problems, I just, I was living on my own and, you know, I just, uh, I, I, I just really got down. And he 
he got me, he gets you out of the house three or four times a day and walking around. And uh, so, yeah, he's, he really, he's mm -hmm. just been a savior to me. Yeah. Well, now you have American Senior Communities that yes. are helping. Yes. You have your friends that help and love Toby. And you have Toby. <laughs> yes. You've got everything. Yes. The trifecta. Three it's things. Tr Perfect. It's true. <laughs> Sandy, thank you so much for Sweet. everything. And thank you for, for sharing Toby with us. Toby, do I have a treat? No, I oh, oh he says, I don't I have, uh, to, I have to go get you a treat. You said the word T R E A T and <laughs> He says, you know, treats he later. He knows what well, that means. Well, you've been a real treat, Sandy. Thank oh, you so Oh, thank much. you so much. Okay. Are you looking for a new Ford or a pre-owned car? One that fits you, your family, and your furry friends? We take the whole family into consideration when you need a Ford. Inski Ford has been serving you for over 60 years. We're family owned and operated, and our whole staff is ready to serve people and pets. We know what you need. From our family to yours, it's Inskeep Ford now and forever, earning your trust and loyalty every day. Come see us at Inskeep Ford. I'm Megan. As your certified audiologist, I'm here to help you. For 35 years, our mission is to improve your hearing by giving you the tools and technology you need to communicate clearly. For more info, head to whisperhearingcenters.com. Welcome to Warm Glow Candle Company. Dreams are realized at the 2021 Warm Glow Candle Company Christmas Open House this weekend. Jolly moments, wine tastings and coffee specials, secret Santa sales, limited edition candles, local crafts and artisans, and visits with Gingy the Gingerbread Cookie. That's Warm Glow Candle Company Open House in Centerville and at warmglow.com. We're conveniently located on Highway 70 at exit 145. Every day, volunteer advocates at Kids Voice of Indiana speak up for thousands of abused and neglected children in Marion County. Find out how you can use your voice for a child who needs one and volunteer today. Visit kidsvoicein.org. I create exceptional culinary experiences. I lead and mentor the team to provide the highest quality of care. I assist our residents throughout their day. I keep a clean and happy home. I provide person-centered care. Our diverse team of compassionate caregivers come together under one mission to serve each customer with quality care and excellence. We are 1ASC. Join our winning team. We all know yes, we all know, that animals help us feel better, especially when we're going through some very stressful times, like this COVID thing. Okay, Horses of Hope. Here is a man and a woman, his wife, and what they do is they take these horses to various places to visit, especially American senior communities. It was just a few months ago at the height of the pandemic that we caught up with Horses of Hope at the American Senior Communities Facility at Rosegate. Any staff or residents, family and friends who wanted to get up close and personal with some amazing horses were invited safely outside. And I'm standing next to Romeo right here. And how far are we from each other here, Wes? We need to be a horse link. A horse link. <laughs> Social distancing. So thank you so much. Wes Jackson owns these horses and brings them over to the American Senior Communities to help the people who are residents. Tell us why you do this. My wife and I, Marcy, and my children love sharing our animals with others. And that when the virus hit, my wife called it. She said, Wes, we're gonna have to close up our buildings. We're not gonna be able to have visitation. What are we gonna do about that? Because that's gonna be tragic on our residents and tragic on our employees. She said, it's time to hit the road and do window visits. Right. These horses are very well behaved. How do you train them? Like, well, yes, you're very well behaved. <laughs> lots of handling and lots of odd experiences. So we had big wheels. That was perfect because they've never seen a big wheel. And, but because also they're mature. Oh, yes. And also um, they, they have a unique sense of different circumstances. So around here, they know they need to be calm, they need to be uh, patient. What do you get out of this? Now you're connected with American Senior Communities, you're on the board. Yes, ma'am. You don't have to do this extra stuff. 
So what I get out of it is I get to see that my employees are taking excellent care of my residents and are fulfilling the gap right now with COVID where the, the family members and friends can't visit. Oh, my employees are filling that void. Yes, they are. Day in and day out. They're part of the family too. And I want to mention, you, this man, Wes, loves animals so much. Your dog, give the dog with the horses. Come on, Cinch. Cinch, come Cinch, here. Cinch, come on over. Come here, sweetie. Come on, come on. Good Look girl. You've got dogs, you've Good got girl. horses. You've got a, oh, you've got a wonderful community. And I want everybody to applaud Wes. Is that okay? No. Yay! No. Good. Good. Thank you so much. We'll Thank be you, back Pat. with more. And Horses of Hope, what you do is amazing. Thank you, Pat. I love it. Hi, Maria. What's up? Hi, I'm just calling to say hello. How are you? Great. It's so good to hear your voice. Staying connected has never been easier for people with hearing loss. Now you can read captions of everything your caller says with CapTel Caption Telephone. Did you hear that Ed finally proposed to Anna? People with hearing loss can enjoy the same ease, speed, and confidence as telephone callers everywhere. Learn more about this service at RelayIndiana.com. I'm Megan. As your certified audiologist, I'm here to help you. Struggling to follow conversation? If you have any of the symptoms of hearing loss, visit us at Whisper Hearing Centers. For more info, head to whisperhearingcenters.com. I'm Dr. Bill Beeson, and I'd like to help you look your very best. Beeson, the trusted name in cosmetic surgery. Medicine can add years to your life, but cosmetic surgery can add life to your years. So trust the best surgeon, Dr. Bill Beeson. Welcome to Warm Glow Candle Company. Dreams are realized at the 2021 Warm Glow Candle Company Christmas Open House this weekend. Jolly moments, wine tastings and coffee specials, secret Santa sales, limited edition candles, local crafts and artisans, and visits with Gingy the Gingerbread Cookie. That's Warm Glow Candle Company Open House in Centerville and at warmglow.com. We're conveniently located on Highway 70 at exit 145. This year we decided to stay close to home for our summer getaway. Well, French Lick felt like we traveled worlds away. I'll never forget the kids' faces when they first met those beautiful creatures. And they were pretty impressed to stay at what they called the fancy French Lick Resort. Fancy, yet family friendly. So I guess we did stay close to home. But it was far from ordinary. This was our getaway worth sharing. Plan your French Lick getaway at visitindiana.com. It's always a good thing to get more information when you're a little anxious about something like getting the shot. So here I am talking to the nurse who, yes, gave me a shot. Allison Bill Meadows, Assisted Living. And we are here talking about the COVID-19 and the vaccines. And we're here with pharmacy manager for CVS. And that would be Michelle DeBusto. Thanks, Patty. Thank you. It's good to be here. <laughs> That's the hardest part is getting all those <laughs> titles out. Now, you are with CVS Pharmacy. You're helping with American senior communities and all of the shots. What has been your biggest challenge? The biggest challenge, um, it kind of changed as time goes on. So okay. the biggest challenge was probably staffing at first. Um, CVS took this monumental task on in a very quick time frame. So throwing staff together, not throwing it together, but getting new people on board, training right. up our existing people. Um, that was initially the biggest challenge. Okay, and why did you want to do this? You have a personal agenda here as well. I do. Okay. Um, my mom lives here at okay. Allisonville Meadows. And um, we have had a great partnership with Allisonville Meadows. I come here for their um, flu clinics and their pneumonia clinics, oh. able to vaccinate her and all of the neighbors here. Um, so getting to do the COVID vaccination for her today was really special as well. So she has had one or two? Two. She's had both of them. Yes. May I ask her age? She is 80. She just turned 80 last month. Okay. And some people are concerned to go, well, when you're older, maybe the, uh, the after effects are, are not pleasant. How, what, what did she go through? Anything? She did not have any side effects whatsoever really? after her first dose. And a lot of seniors are not having as, as uh, severe side effects huh. with the second dose as some other general population people. So it's not 
too big of a concern. Okay. What do you get personally out of this besides helping your mom? Make you, you're smiling. Yeah. I see you smiling. Well, you know, I feel really blessed that CVS has chosen me to be part of this project. I mean, we try to get as many vaccination services out to all of the population as we can. And this COVID vaccination, getting it to our most at risk people, that's, I mean, that's, it's really rewarding. There's not, I mean, especially with my mom and her being in the situation, but so many families are not with their parents, their grandparents right now. You hear stories of people passing away um, alone because they can't be with them because of how contagious it is. And it just makes me very passionate about getting more and more vaccines out there. And in partnership with American Senior Communities, we've been able to reach, you know, nearly a thousand long-term care facilities in the state of Indiana. Wow. It's something really to be proud of. That is some, that is something to be proud of. And then yeah. you're smiling. He's smiling again. <laughs> yeah. So that's terrific. Good for you. Good for your mom. Good for American senior communities. Yes, it is. And thank you for what you do. And, and as I said earlier, I'm getting my shot today. You are. And we're so proud of you. Okay. So thank you for getting the message out to everybody else that it's important. Uh -oh. Well, if it's, if it's good enough for your mom, it's good enough for me. There and I go. hope I don't get any side effects like no, she did. No, you won't. I'll be fine. Yes. Thank you, Michelle. Thank you, Patty. We'll be back with more on Great Day TV. Well, you know what we say, get the V, get vaccinated. And yep, I did it too. Uh, I'll admit I was a little nervous about it, but it all worked out fine. So here's Patty, gets her shot. All right, uh, here we are with Michelle. <laughs> it's, it's okay, time. Patty. It's time for my shot. And what what is the... Uh, Oh, oh, the medicine I'm using? Moderna vaccine. This is the COVID, COVID 19 vaccine. Okay, and, and I may have, uh, I'm just a little nervous, may have a little uh, afterwards, may just be a little, what, feverish? Most people on the first round don't get feverish, don't even really get any achiness. Okay. Um, on occasion, you might. You're going to have some tenderness at the injection site, but that's normal. Like with my flu shots yes, and stuff. Yes, exactly. All right, so here we go. We're going to get you taken care of. Okay, right. I'm a little too, what do people do? Breath. Sing a little bit maybe? Sure, do you have a good singing voice? I have a terrible singing voice. <laughs> no, okay, and there it goes. As easy as that. That's done? That's it. You're good. That's it? Now you're protected, at least part way. Give me a V. We hope you enjoyed our show today, and we thank you again, American Senior Communities, for all that you do to help all of us. Now, I had to get my booster, and I went back to American Senior Communities, and a nice guy named Dan really gave me a nice shot. Take care, get your V. We'll see you next time on Great Day TV.